What's up everyone, back with some more Gundam Evolution gameplay, this time playing as Melee Zaku. I've mentioned it a few times before, melee suits are not really my thing. Uh, you know, I made a video flexing my Barbados skills, so you can uh, judge for yourself how true that is. Uh, but it is something I've been trying to get better at, and I think one part of that is that I have a very uh, careful play style where I really kind of value my life, which works out for uh, some suits, maybe not as well for melee. Um, so I have been trying it more with melee. You can see it there, really trying it, maybe more than I should have. Uh, just because melee suits are better at going in and fighting doesn't necessarily mean you should give up all care for your own well-being. Um, but I did manage to pull two people away from that fight, almost got the kill on New Gundam. Unfortunately, it looks like they did still get the point. Um, so I probably should be playing a bit more careful than that. Um, but melee Zaku got hit with two nerfs in a row. First patch, uh, mainly focusing on that really strong G maneuver, which is still strong even after the nerfs. Second patch, more of a general nerf. Uh, that guard tackle you saw me do right there, and that lost uh, two seconds on its cooldown, um, which is actually pretty big. I think that's an ability that people kind of don't use as much when they're new to melee Zaku. I know I kind of forgot to use it a lot, but it is very strong. I mean, it's, it gives you a bit of movement. It's not, I don't think it's as long as like a regular dash. Um, it gives you that good movement, and it does 300 damage if it hits, and it gets rid of the shield. So, um, yeah, you're gonna see me trying to use it a lot more now. Uh, speaking of shields, though, I could not get that Jim down before he punched me in the face with his shield. It looks like my team was able to finish him off, and they even got him before he was, uh, repaired. Uh, so we went pretty even on that first point, all things considered. Uh, I think my death was not in vain. Now we're going to B point. Now this is one... I know when I'm playing against melee suits, I'm pretty scared to fight here, just because they can go, uh, flank through the top paths up there and then drop down on you. I'm not opting for that since it looks like my team is in a good position already. Uh, here's the gym again. He misses his shield batch this time. Kind of going kind of even. And I thought about going in harder there and trying to finish him off, but I felt, you know, the point's about to come up uh, online. Might as well just help my team cap it first. And this Mathis, ooh, that was a little bit of a dangerous move there. I just used my guard tackle for distance. Got that slash on Jim. Ooh, and that time I managed to block his melee with my survive stance. So it gave me the rage, and I was just able to finish him off. The rage did get a slight buff. It kind of equals out with the um, the overall HP change. You're down 100 HP, and then you gain 100 HP when you pop rage. Uh, so when you're in rage stance, it's kind of like it's the same as it always was. Um, but that 100 HP loss uh, can be a big deal if you're up against a sniper, because now you're in a one-shot headshot threshold. And we have a sniper, but they do not have one, so I'm not too worried. And a really aggressive Ashimar G maneuver there. Um, you know, I I know when I play Ashimar, I like to target Melee Zaku because he's first going to deal with, especially since he can kind of push through your napalm uh, just by standing it with a survive. So not necessarily a bad choice to target there, um, but B point is about to end here. So uh, maybe it would have been better to conserve it, but Ashimar can charge up the G maneuver pretty fast. So at the end of the day, probably not a big loss for him. And right here... Uh, my Marsai, I think I heard he was getting chased. I wanted to pop down and help him out. Uh, just going after this Mahiru. Did not realize the whole team was chasing, though. And, yeah, Survive's not going to help me here, especially with... I got stunned by the, I believe, the Sazabi X to the back. And I'm dead again. Another case where I probably went in a little too hard. But I do think uh, Melee Zaku is a lot better in the Domination game types, just because... It's a lot more crowded it takes less time to get to the point if you die because you are going to be that's the, you know as melee suits you're going to be in a position to die more often so um being closer to the fight it's really going to work out in your favor sasabi there almost got the kill i went for the guard tackle to make him drop his shield even though it doesn't matter for melee zaku it's of a good idea to still use that on to help so your teammates can help get the kill we did manage to barely fly away with that help from new gundam Right here, they're take, they're getting ahead on points with this. I've got my G maneuver though. I'm gonna look for opportunity. See right there, they're not looking at me. Decide to pop it, and then I didn't have rage at the start of it, but I did end up getting it from the initial damage. And I picked up it looks like two kills there, and then a third, and I might get the repair. No, I started the slash, and it locked me out of going for the repair. Kind of screwed up there. This here, this here's a funny moment. I'm trying to get those those low damage uh, range slashes on that pal right up there because I saw he was low. Uh, well, kind of an awkward position. Go for the big slash. It's got a huge hitbox. Do manage to get him there, but the slight healing from the Methus. And there's that Ashmar going for the G maneuver again. Once again, kind of. This time the point is completely done. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know if he should have gone for that there, but I mean he got it up since the last time he used it, so he's trying to optimize his usage. Maybe he's got a challenge for it. Now we've got just looks like just me, and my hero at point C right now. Just holding the high ground to see if I can drop down at anyone. Not seeing anyone yet. Here, uh, Pal Rider up top, drop his heal. Just get one little hit on him, but I 
can't get much more than that in this position. Here comes uh, New Gun. I'm going to try and go in hard on him. Get him with the guard tackle. And I'm going to back up because Mahir is really spamming those nades. And survive really doing a lot of work there. It's giving me rage so that I can survive. Zabi's back there and I want to go in on him. But with this low HP, I decided to back him and hit the health pack. Unfortunately, rage is going to run out. I basically only got to use it for survivability. We do still have the point. It's looking pretty good. Just kind of jumping up there, throwing off those slashes to deter people from taking the high ground. And then I uh, get New Gundam really low here, and I jump up, get him with the slash, but I don't think I'm able to finish. I get one hit there. I think the second hit actually would have taken him out because uh, Melee Zaku slashes do a ton of damage to down people. Um, and then I get another big slash, go for the tackle, drop the shield. But that extra damage from the Ashmar nade did take me out. I might have had time to go into survive there. I might have been okay, but uh, unfortunately I did not. It looks like they're going to get the point back. And this is the last one for the round, so they've got about 17% to make up now. So we've got a little bit of time, but one failed push could mean the end for us. Let's see here, I, I am actually capping the point they stepped off. I see a really low Ashmar, just going to go and get that kill real easy. Finish him off where he can get repaired. Going to go ahead and take out that turret as well. You do get bonus damage to those, like the disabled units. And then I pop my Jimin at the end to keep him out. But Mahir was not able to get on the point in time either way. A very close round, but we were able to edge him out in the end. Alright, hopping right into round two here. Round A point to begin with. Not B, but still think I can do pretty good here. See two of them walking out. It looks like they've swapped up a bit. They've got a melee Zaku now. I'm not sure they switched off of. Maybe the gym. There we go. He's popping his survive. I feed him a little bit of rage, but not too much. The zombie coming in. Get the tackle. Worried for my life, but Melee Zaku kept hitting there, fed me a lot of rage. I th actually screwed up my uh, Marasai's hook there a little bit by standing in the way, but we still got the kill. Looks like we're cleaning it pretty good. Dom got two kills. Other than that, I think we're winning the fight so far. Mahiru nades couldn't be trouble if I get in there. Dom goes down, I'm gonna charge with Mahiru. Tries to go for that stun. Uh, I end up firing her too far away, so I just got up close, finish him off with the guard tackle again. Really can't underestimate that damage from Guard Tackle. Ashmar's trying to fly over. He hit me a little bit with that Napalm. He gets shot out of the sky a bit. Chase him down. Pretty easy finish. I see Sasami come in. I really want to take him out, but he's smartly dashes away. And then there goes Melee Zaku again. We got to post up pretty well. Sniper getting the double kill. Pretty surprising. I feel like I see a lot of people try to sniper on this map. Um, I don't think Sniper is very good on Domination in general, uh, but I guess if you line up at these uh, low ground, or even the high ground, you can get some decent angles on this A point. Uh, if B point, Sniper is going to be really bad unless you can somehow uh, get in these top tunnels and fire down. And right here, oh, I accidentally feed him a bunch of rage. I started uh, going for the slash before he started that, and it looks like I may have doomed my Marasai. I'm going to try and get revenge for him. I do, but then I go down to the Ashmar and the Sazabi. So it ended up being they got two kills for our one kill in the melee Zaku. Probably didn't work out. Kind of mistake feeding him rage there. Now we're going on to C point. We've got a pretty substantial lead. They did have a DC player at the start. He is back in it now. And it looks like they post up pretty well. I'm going to peek over the edge here. I do have my G maneuver. Have that option. Melee Zaku on top of me. Pop my survive. Don't get any rage out of it, but I was a little bit worried because he got the jump on me. The zombie there that worked out really well. I'm not I think he might have got hooked right as I knocked his shield away. Kind of an accidental combo move there. Now we have two of them down. We haven't kept the point yet. Going in for it now. And I decide to pop my G maneuver. Get the Ashamar. I'm gonna chase this pal rider I saw, but he's already down. May have ended up being a waste. Only got the one kill out of it, but we do have the point. It's not too bad. I might get the revive here. I do. That Sasabi kind of clipped me as he was flying by. It's kind of funny. If you didn't know, uh, Sasabi's dash move, he gets where he can go to his axe or teammate. It does actually do damage there, and that's kind of what happened there. His feet clipped me as he was flying over and did 100 damage. Still got my rage going. Try not to feed there, Zaku. Fortunately, I missed the overhand slash. He's got kind of got the edge on me, and I was hoping I could actually stay out of his range and get the passive healing, but then that Mahi grenade changed my mind. So I'm just going to have to wait for the next point to continue the fight. Looks like our Mahiru managed to win a 1v1 over here. That's pretty good. 
We also lost our gun tank, perhaps pushed up a bit too far. See Sazabi again, hoping for that. Marsa goes for the hook, looks like it either missed or got blocked by the shield. Someone popped their G maneuver. Kazabi, a Dom G maneuver as well, but he went flying past me when he hit me, so I figure I can go for this repair. Immediately go into survive stance afterwards, and I just get out of there with my low HP. I'm not gonna have my G maneuver for a while. There's Mayuru. I hit him with the 300 damage from the overhead slash, but I decided to back up and take a different route. Putting him with those nades in the close quarters is not a good idea. And there's the Ashmar G maneuver again. Got our Mahiru. I managed to stay on top of him and chase him down. Kind of baiting the Dom Sazabi here because I have Rage going in. <laughs> and you can see here, I bring up my, keep bringing up my arm. Uh, my, uh, you, you, so you can bring up your arm to block, even if guard tackle is on cooldown. I didn't realize there, I kept trying to use my tackle, but it was, uh, the extra two seconds did end up mattering. I did eventually get it out at the end there. Managed to clean up those kills. Nice, get a nice bit of rage off that napalm there. That is one downside of Ashmar. He can uh, end up feeding Melee Zaku quite a bit of rage if the survive is timed well. And I barely missed that guard tech on Sazavi. I was surprised by that, but he's still kind of in the corner here. Didn't even see Mahiru killed him. Got Sazavi going for the dumb. And we kind of get a repeat of the beginning of the match where I dive too hard towards their spawn. I do get punished for that. My power rider going for a very aggressive attack on here. I think he was hoping to shoot that Dom in the back, but he saw him coming and looks like it did not work out. One so around B point, I think this is going to be the last one based on the timing. So I'm pretty happy about that. Now there, Melee Zaku. Pop survived. He got fed a little bit there. Looks like a Mahiru nade hit him. Yep, and he's in rage. 1v1ing him up close. It's not going to work out too well for me, so I back up. I'm really low here. I pop survive, but they're all looking at me. I did actually have rage there. I could have used it. But with the follow-up from the Melee Zaku G Maneuver and the, the Hades from the Pale Rider, I don't think there was any chance it would have lived there. Although maybe I would have gotten a bit more damage off. Could, could have mattered. So they do have the point. And it looks like they do have 20-ish percent to make up. Not too bad. Well, once again, if they win a big team fight. But look at that. Uh, gun Tank G Maneuver getting killed in Sasabi. I decide to come in right as they're going for that repair. Pop my Rage here after the G-Maneuver is over. I think I got it right near the end. I'm barely alive. Don G-Maneuver comes out. But actually, Guard Tackle beats it out. You know, melee moves do go through Don's deflection in the front. I assumed we were going to trade there. You know, we'd collide and we'd both go down. But it looks like Guard Tackle actually just completely beat it out. And I managed to survive. And there we go, MVP. Don't see that often for me on the melee suits. So yeah, I really think I've, I'm kind of figuring out how to play melee Zaku more. More of those domination game types, I think, is where it works a lot, a lot better. I think before this, I actually hadn't played melee Zaku and domination, so definitely be considering that as an option more in the future. Hopefully you enjoyed that gameplay. If you want to see more, you can catch me live on Twitch, or stay tuned here for more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.